Good day everyone, Professor Maple here. Welcome back to Maple's Lab. Today we're in uh, the the pre-releases. We're in 1.15 pre-release 6. And if I figure it's stable enough that we can figure out a few things about bees. A lot of things you already know like crafting the the honeycomb blocks versus the honey blocks and, and all that sorts of things. I've been experimenting with a few things and, and that uh, is one of the things that's been consistent. Uh, but today we're going to look at how high uh, can you have the the beehive above a campfire before the bees get angry at you for for harvesting from their hive. Because I've been I've been experimenting. You can't you can't push campfires with pistons, so uh, so you can't just toggle uh, whether or not you can harvest without being attacked like that. Uh, so either you've got to move blocks. Uh, on top of it or you have to uh, uh, just hide it down further somewhere if you're doing an, an aesthetic build. Now uh, just in case you're not aware if you uh, shear a uh, beehive or bee nest uh, while the bees are in it while it's full without putting smoke behind it um, they come out, they, they're angry, and if you're in survival mode, they will attack you and they will die when they hit you because their stinger is linked to uh, them living, basically. So basically, uh, we, can, we, can sh we can take a full hive, uh, which has a pretty good uh, redstone length here. Uh, the actual hive versus the, the nest, the nest seems to output a shorter signal. So just a heads up for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we, we harvest a, a, a hive with, uh, with the shears or, or with a, a glass bottle, an empty bottle, uh, as long as there is a campfire underneath it producing smoke. And actually that's the thing we might investigate a little bit, uh, just to confirm we can't use an unlit campfire. That might be a thing. So, so basically what we're going to do here is, uh, we're, we're going to, we're, we're going to run that experiment basically. So if we take, uh, we're going to find a nice low area here. Uh, I need some blocks just to keep the water from escaping. Uh, da -da. That'll do. And then we want our campfire right there. We need a bucket of water right there. Put out the campfire. And then we'll need a sponge, which will be down here. A nice dry sponge soak up that water. Now if we, uh, you know what, I'm gonna just grab one of these real quick. Uh, control, oops, nope. There we go. Bees got in the way. So this should be full of honey. No. I guess that's not something you can control click. Control R. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, well, we'll come back to that later then. Uh, basically, uh, so when you're when you're looking at the the, the how far below the uh, the nest you can have a campfire before the bees won't be angry at you. You can you can have it right below. You can have it two below. You can basically have it as many blocks as uh, the sixth block below your uh, your hive and anything uh, uh, at that point bees won't get angry at you anything above that they they get they get annoyed they don't like that they're not fans uh, don't do that they will they will die and you may take damage and could also die um, but yeah let's see let's see if we can get some of the some of this experiment running here so so while we're while we're waiting for that um, one thing that you might also want to know, just since we know there's a bee in this hive here, uh, if you silk touch a bee's nest, you'll get the, the nest back. Where'd that one go? That one, it'll, so the regular bee's nest does not have the NP, NBT data in there. Uh, bee's nest with something in it, well, they probably have the same NBT data, but just for the heck of, of demonstration here, uh, you can you can still touch it and the bees will come out eventually. Uh, 
probably after a couple minutes. Oh, that one went back in. So we only had like maybe one or two beads there. They can only hold three. Oops. Oops. That's not. Oh well. Uh, we're in creative mode, so I can just replace those bees, <laughs> or or one of them. I think we, yeah, we actually would have lost a bee there. Um, right. So. So yeah, six blocks, and then you can also use that uh, as so when you're doing an, an aesthetic build. If this is sort of my plan for a layout for a build, and isn't really the build. Imagine there's grass and everything else nice in here. So if we go up. Uh, grab our bottle here. We can do that without angering the bees inside. And we can go on our, our merry way. They can come back out, pollinate, all that fun stuff. If you want to know what that's for specifically, you can take a look at my uh, Let's Play on Maple's World. I'll link that in the end cards there. And of course, it's, it's important to note that bees communicate with each other by dancing. They'll, they'll tell each other where flowers are, long distances away, just by dancing. And that's the real world stuff, that's not so much Minecraft stuff. This is just a bug. Pun intended. Okay, so our, our lamps are on. So now we've got uh, uh, a full hive here. And if we pop down here and give it a little harvest without the smoke underneath, Oh, that's int okay, that's neat. So you don't even have to, if you want to, like, if you've got something going on like this, instead of putting end rods around your campfires to make sure the bees don't get right in them, uh, even, which you could tell is working really, really well, <laughs> you could just put out the campfire. Apparently, they don't, they don't really mind if, if you're, like, right there put out the campfire it'll be great that's good to know I wish I had known that sooner so then part of me wants to know do these like now that we know they don't have to be lit do they even need they probably need to have air blocks between uh, or mostly air blocks and rods yeah um, anyway I hope <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little exploration of, of the new bees in Minecraft and some of the mechanics behind them and, and whatnot. You can see I've sort of test testing out a few people's uh, other other bee farms in the background here. Um, though I think I know which one I'm going to build. Um, I've seen some really good ones though. Uh, anyway, have, have a good now. Have a good later. And we'll see you next time on, on uh, Maple's Lab, where we discover more things about new Minecraft mechanics, or old Minecraft mechanics, or Minecraft mechanics in general. Goodbye!